Pura Vida! And welcome to part two. Our first part was at Yatama Eco Lodge, and this one is going to be at La Selva Biological Station. And this is the drive from Yatama, actually from Horqueta's up Route 4, which is the only road you can take. And it's only about a 20 minute drive, it's pretty quick. Um, so we got kind of hungry, Exodus was a little bit early for check in, and we decided to stop at a soda, which is like a little side, side road eatery kind of place. over a little soda and get some food. So it's like this looks so good. Oh, and it was. So this is the entrance to La Salva off of four and it's pretty short. I'd say maybe a mile from the road and uh Here's a dog in the road. Hi, dog. These are the main gates and the road that lead up to the office and the cafeteria and the kitchen. Um, we did check in after this, but I didn't record it because it's just, you know, it's boring. So um, our room, though, is about a mile and a mile and a half from the actual main entrance. Um, it's a satellite area. But uh, it, they actually gave us the same room we had last time we were here, uh, two years ago, which is kind of cool. They have a 24-hour oh, yeah. armed guard at this shack that sits in front of the parking lot. I don't know. It feels a little like overkill. Hold on. You good? Same room we had last time. Yeah, thanks. I already said that. Yeah, because I set all my stuff up on this radio to take pictures. <laughs> oh, yeah, they had a closet. Probably not the best way. A shower, we got hot water. After discarding all the unnecessary bits and pieces into the room, we decided to head out to the forest, take a walk. Um, we want to see if anything might be stirring besides all of the insects that are stirring because they be stir crazy. If you're visiting here, you will soon become very familiar with this bridge. Uh, it leads over the Serapiki River and into the research station for the biological studies. But it also is the hub for all the trails you'll be walking. Uh, buenos dias. Bien, bien. And here's a javelina. Actually, they were all over the place. And they didn't care about me or the camera in his face or nothing. <laughs> what? No, here you can try. No, no. Yeah, it's bright. Although not quite as common as the strawberry poison frog, you can still turn up the green and blacks with some frequency in areas with primary rainforest or at least well-established secondary rainforest.
This marshy area here is probably one of the best places in the preserve to hear several species of calling frog. And it's usually good for a cat eyed snake or two. To the north on the east side, I see. Corey, are they brown? We came back and had dinner with this amazing sunset, and then we were off on our first night hike. Okay? Right off the bat as we were crossing the bridge, we came upon this two-toed sloth that we think was clumsily trying to cross the bridge. I don't know what it was doing, but either way, there's some unusual editing here because like we were excited anything. and there's some Should expletives, mainly on my part. Can you figure this um, out? <laughs> so check this dude out. How cool is this? It's true. It's like whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna climb up this pole now. Yeah. Oh my god. And he's upside down. <laughs> is this how you do things? You take a picture of him? Oh my goodness. Cloudy snail eater, Cybon nebulatus, was probably the most common snake we saw the entire trip. Saw four in two nights. Actually saw one that was eating a snail, which was pretty cool, but um, I didn't film it, of course, because I'm an idiot. There's bats in them cracks. So the next morning it's breakfast time and then more jungle time. Yellow-headed geckos are pretty common around the buildings and such. Uh, I found this one under this piece of cardboard with a female and actually another one that escaped behind the crack. I think he knows where he is now. I mostly prefer self-guided tours, you know, staying by yourself, doing your own thing on the trails, but there's actually a guide that is included in the price staying at the preserve. And let me just tell you, I can't recommend it enough. These guys see everything. Sloth? Talking. Our guide spotted this pygmy anteater. I don't know how he did it, but it's amazing. And he was super excited because we had just seen the Tamandua, which is the larger anteater. Of course, I didn't take video, so here's a picture.
Mm. Time for a little R and R with some beer and some weird cookies. Then, more hiking, as per the usual. Is it a Saba tree? Sure looks like it. Just using the path. Cool, man. Hi. Hey, he's pooping on me. Hey, poop. Hello. Yeah. Get shadows. Yeah, but it's, yeah, I'm show you. Oh, look. All right. All right, we're leaving. Leaving. Last view. See ya. Adios. That'll do it for La Selva. Next stop is Monte Verde, where there's cloud forests and birds and all kinds of other cool stuff. And a few snakes. Um, so the last video, part one, I didn't throw up any pictures. So at the end of this video, I'm going to have some pictures to show from this trip at La Selva. I don't know. I just slacked off. <laughs>